Hi, this is Chase with LearningNewMac.com. In this video, we'll explain how to organize the files and folders that are on your Mac, part two. I'm going to go ahead and open up the program pages. And this could be something like Word or Text Edit, any word processing program that you have on the computer, for example. I'm going to open up a blank document. I'll just have something written out. Now I'm going to want to save this file. So I'm going to go up to the file menu and choose save. Now the computer is going to ask me two questions. What do you want to call it, save as, and where do you want to put it? So I'll go ahead and title this. Let's call it test document. And I can choose between where as in desktop or documents, downloads, movies, music, some of those previous folders we saw before. But I can't see those sublevel folders I might be interested in. So I'm actually going to click outside of this and then click on the drop down triangle. When I click on this triangle, I get more information. And this is when I can actually see documents and then I can put it inside of one of my subfolders. So if this was for school, 2012, and let's say this was an English file, then I can save my test document to the folder English. Now I'll say save. You'll notice my title changes at the top of the document. I'm going to go ahead and close pages. So now I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to Documents school 2012 English and now I can see that file test document when I double click on test document it just opens that file right back up I can add more to this document do another file and save this time it'll say save a version rather than just save. And now when I close out, my file is still in that same location and that same file has now been updated. So just to review, you open up the document, you say file, save, what do you want to call it and where do you want to put it? Pay close attention to that triangle at the right. If you're in this kind of condensed view, you may only have a few options of what folders you want to save it into. If I drop down the triangle, I can be very specific on what folder I would like to put that in. And if we look down at the lower right corner, you usually have two stacks here, one for the documents and one for the downloads. Sometimes you might see an Applications folder. These are your primary two. If I click on the Documents once, I'll see the exact same information here that I saw in Finder here. Now I have the ability to see those same files in both places. So either at the stack at the bottom or the Documents in Finder. And the same thing with Downloads. We talked about before how Downloads can be kind of the catch-all for anything downloaded off the internet or maybe from mail. If I go to downloads here, I should see the same file. So now anytime we have a file that comes from the internet or from email, most likely it'll end up in downloads. So for example, if I go to Safari and I download a file from Safari, let's say maybe your computer needs Adobe Flash Player. So I'll go Google search for Flash Player and I'll do a quick download. Notice once my download starts, I have a little down arrow at the upper right corner. This is kind of a link to my downloads folder. But do think of it just as a link, not where the files are actually stored. So if I click on this down arrow, I can see that I have the install Flash Player download. I'm going to actually ignore this from here and close out of Safari. And I'm going to return down to the stack at the bottom for downloads. And now I can see install Flash Player. Or if I go back over to Finder and go to Downloads, 
I can see install Flash Player there too. So the computer moved that file to the downloads folder automatically. Now I can install this file from here. If I'm in the mail program and if somebody sends me a file or perhaps a photo, I have ways to organize those as well. For a photo, I'll usually actually just take the photo, click hold, and drag it down on top of iPhoto. And this will actually import the photo into the iPhoto program. Nice easy way to save some files. So another option for me to save this photo would be to do a secondary click. On any Mac, you can hold the control button down on the keyboard and then mouse click on top of what you want to save. I get a secondary window here and I have the option to save attachment, save to downloads folder, or export to iPhoto. I could send this photo right to iPhoto, I could send it right to the downloads folder, or if I say save attachment, this will ask me where do I want to put this on the computer. Save to desktop, save to download, save to documents. For this example, I'm going to simply say save to downloads. You'll notice the stack bounce down here at the bottom, and I again see the picture here. I'm going to go to Finder, and then go back to Downloads, and I see that same picture here. I'm going to close out a mail for a second, and now I see actually two files in the download, both labeled Photo and Photo-1. I think these are duplicate, so I'm going to click on one file, and then I'm going to hit the spacebar. And the spacebar gives me that quick look again. Hit the spacebar to close it. Go down to photo one, hit the space bar again, and now I see that photo again. So I do have a duplicate. So I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to drag this file down to the trash can. And now my duplicate file that had the dash one on it was able to go to the trash can. I've cleaned up that part of the computer. If I decided later I wanted to take this photo, I could take it and drag it and drop it to the iPhoto icon, or possibly I could move it somewhere else, like let's say the desktop. I moved it off the downloads and put it on the desktop. If I wanted to take it off the desktop and move it, let's say, to the documents folder, I can drag and drop it to the documents. And that just moved it off of the desktop and moved it to the documents. So you'll find on the Mac most ways to reorganize and rearrange your files is by drag and drop. So you're going to click hold on the mouse, drag across, and drop it. You might be using the new trackpad, and that's the same thing. Just click and hold on the trackpad, drag your file where you want. Remember that you have the gear and the new folder, or you have file and the new folder. We're going to look at two last things for this video, and the first is just emptying your trash can. The fastest way to do this is to single click on the trash can down at the dock, and then there's an empty button at the upper right corner of this window. And if I hit empty, then the computer will ask me, are you sure you want to permanently erase the items in the trash? So this, this action cannot be undone. Once I say empty trash, all of these files are gone. My trash can empties, I can no longer see those files. Another way for me to empty the trash can is to go up to Finder in the menu bar at the top, and then I have two options, empty trash and secure empty trash. Empty trash is what I just did before, where I clicked on the trash can and then said empty. If I go to secure empty trash, this goes one level further, and it's like running your documents on your computer through a paper shredder. This ensures that no matter what, nobody can ever recover any of these files. So if you had old financial data, for example, you could run a secure, empty trash, and there's no chance that anybody could ever get to those files again. Again, this is Chase with Learn Your New Mac. We hope this helps you understand how to organize your files and folders on your Mac. And thanks for watching.